first time, Uber is confirming thousands of sexual assaults involving passengers and drivers. But it's a concern Cairo 7 warned about back in 2016. Cairo 7's Amy Clancy noticed a number of sexual assaults by rideshare drivers. She's at our live desk now. And Amy, your investigation, one of the first to expose this problem. Well, in 2016, I asked both Uber and Lyft to sit down for interviews with me to discuss multiple rideshare drivers arrested right here in King County and charged with sexually assaulting passengers. Back then, both companies declined to be interviewed. Now, more than three years later, Uber admits about 3,000 assaults were reported last year alone. In its long-anticipated safety report, Uber provides an unprecedented look into reported sexual assaults that took place during the company's 1.3 billion rides last year. If you want to improve something, you have to measure it. The public has a right to know, and secrecy about the hardest issues that we face doesn't make anyone safer. Cairo 7 has felt the public has a right to know since 2016, when this young woman revealed being driven to a SeaTac motel and sexually assaulted by her Uber driver. I blacked out, and then I woke up in a motel in another city with uh, everything just tangled around me. The driver, Dirigi Kabidi, was found guilty of attempted rape in 2016. He thinks he's done nothing wrong. Another driver, Saifuddin Ahmed, pleaded guilty to assaulting a woman while driving for Uber and to assaulting another woman while driving for Lyft. Both assaults with sexual motivation. Did you sexually assault these women? No. Both of them say that you did. Are they lying? Yeah, I didn't do anything, you know, I don't know what they say is that, you know, uh, I didn't do anything, you know, wrong. Uber says in the two years they measured, 2017 and 2018, there were nearly 6,000 reports of sexual assault involving passengers and drivers. That's a large number. It suggests that there is a huge societal problem or extension of a societal problem that's happening um, on our ride-hailing trips. Lyft says it will release its own safety transparency report, as Uber has just done. Both companies claim to be committed to safety, and both are rolling out new features to try and ensure it, including the ability to report safety incidents to Uber even before the trip is over. Both also do background checks on drivers, but this woman believes that's no guarantee of safety. Just because he doesn't have a, a, a record, I mean, it doesn't mean that he, they're not capable of hurting somebody. Now, Uber claims serious safety incidents are extremely rare, that 99.9% .9 of trips end without any problems at all. Amy Clancy, Cairo 7 News. All right, Amy, thank you. In the report, Uber says drivers are also victims, making up a significant portion of those saying they were sexually assaulted. While 92% of reported rape cases were passengers, drivers reported other types of sexual assaults at roughly the same rate as riders. The largest category of sexual assaults was non-consensual touching of a sexual body part. Uber was not specific on who the perpetrators were.